Well, Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa lauded the memory of Nkosi Johnson as around 15,000 delegates prepare for the International AIDS Conference. Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa launched the five-day countdown to the conference at Nkosi Haven in Johannesburg. In his presentation, the Deputy President Ramaphosa praised the contribution made by Ngozi Johnson, who succumbed to the disease at the age of 12. Ramaphosa also spoke on the support needed by the Ngozi Haven. This haven, Ngozi's haven, has become a place of hope. It has become a place of renewal and it has become a place of acceptance. It is a sanctuary for mothers, mothers who need another chance to be in the lives of their children away from the scorn of the ignorant and the brutality of abusive men and an uncaring society. And his message was clear and it is this message that the South African government has heeded. We heeded the call and the message that was made by Ngozi Johnson. Whereas in the year 2000, we were all over the place and not providing the care, the love to people who are suffering with HIV AIDS. And today, largely also because of the call that he made, we now have 3.4 million people under treatment taking antiretrovirals. We want to bring HIV and AIDS to an end. We are working towards that end. There are quite a number of people who are still skeptical about it, but that's our dream. From what we have seen here, from what we have heard, HIV and AIDS has caused enough devastation. It is time that we must bring it to an end.